Target. I feel like I've been to Target at least 500 times this past month trying to get everything together for the house. Somehow I never get sick of the place. That actually reminds me of the meme where the girl's being asked, why are you always going to Target? And she's like, to get stuff. Well, why are you girls always going to Target? To get stuff. Duh. But I'm flying to LA tomorrow, so I need to go get just a few travel things, like some toiletries. And I don't know, I just want to peruse what they have in the home section. Oh, I think I'm going to purchase another black trivet that I found in the kitchen aisle. It was only 10 bucks, and it's so versatile for what I can use it for. The kitchen section is so good, because I also bought the bowl. I use it to keep all of my necessities that I need when I go in and out of the house, which I highly recommend so that you're never losing your keys and wallet, because that used to be a thing for me. I think with Target is that I can go in with a list, right? Everything is categorized, but I'll still end up walking out with 20 other things that I did not plan to go in for. Let's put together our Target outfit because that's important. It's pretty cold today, but the sun's out, so I'm a little confused. Also, my stuff is not organized right now. I have a system that I follow with my clothes. I just haven't had the time to sit down and do all of it, but for now, this is just what we're dealing with. So I'm just gonna grab whatever I see first. Oh. I know what we're wearing. Wait, where are the pants at? Oh, I found them. All right, I have this super cute set from Los Angeles Apparel and wait, oh my God. I'm changing from gray sweatpants to gray sweatpants, but believe you me, there's a difference, okay? And it's a whole set, so just, just trust the process. We're going for like casual look, but also put together. I got this set in a size small and I was afraid it's gonna be too tight, not as loose as I want it to be. It's so perfectly loose, but fitted. This fleece crop top right here. Oh my God. I feel like the number one thing about this set that got me is how fucking soft it is. I feel like a teddy bear. I wish you could feel it. Coming for a hug. Bring it in. I don't know if I should wear it popped up or zipped up. What do you guys think? I'll just wear it down. You know what this kind of makes me feel like? An 80s aerobic instructor on their way out of class that they just taught. They're about to go get a smoothie at the mall. No, don't they wear like underwear outside with headbands? I'll be right back. Haha. -ha. I don't have a headband, so you're just gonna have to use your imagination. I wonder whose idea this was to put underwear outside of garments. Let's do five on the right side. One, two, and five. And switch. take my class? <laughs> Wait, I don't think I did it right. <laughs> Hold up. 80s aerobics outfit. Kind of. This needs to be more high-waisted. I wouldn't be wearing sweatpants. I would be wearing leggings. Los Angeles Apparel sent me their bike tart as well, which is probably going to be so cute for the spring and summer or if I try to layer it for the winter. But this set has my heart right now. It's so comfy. I'll probably be wearing it more than I should. I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> All right. You know, doing all of that exercise made me kind of parched, thirsty, needing a little pick-me-up. This is a great time for me to introduce our lovely sponsor, Peak Tea. Let's go make a drink. Before you guys come for my pantry drawer, I just moved in, okay? <laughs> Hence this very interesting selection of food and tea. By the way, this ramen is so good. Black rice, Brazil nuts, vitamins and probiotics, chocolate, and of course, our peak tea. But yes, I'm about to leave to LA for a week, so we'll go grocery shopping once I come back. While the water is boiling, which it's making weird noises, my stove, I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but um, we're just gonna ignore it for now. And Hope for the best. Y'all know that I'm a matcha girl from the taste, the versatility, the health benefits, and of course the color. But you guys also know that I'm an esthetician who's simply obsessed with anything skincare related. I'll definitely be my own experiment and test out everything underneath the sun, even if that means putting me through some um, pretty questionable studies and experiments that I've done. But what I wanted to highlight was the Peak BT Fountain Tea specifically. Like, I don't know if this is too loud. Winter has been all about trying to add things to my skincare routine that'll help get me that cute little cherub plump skin type of situation. Ooh, my water's boiling. 
Hold it up. I think it's a great duo. Well, because you get matcha in the morning, so you get your caffeine, as well as your antioxidants. And then later on, you can have your BT fountain, which is so scrum delicious. And the fact that it's sugar-free, it shouldn't be tasting this good. I don't know. I have a sweet tooth, so. It was really interesting to find out that their matcha was quadruple toxin screened and has 35% more L-theanine, which if you know, you know. L-theanine is so good for our stress levels. And then the BT fountain has clinically proven ceramides, which support skin elasticity. So if you want to try it for a limited time, my homies on this channel can get 15% off and free shipping for life on Peak's Radiant Skin Duo. And I also believe you get a complimentary starter kit, which has the beaker and frother when you begin your new ritual. Okay, I actually need to go now. Target today that had Ulta integrated into it. Whoever thought of that idea is freaking genius. I'm pretty sure I was gone for a lot longer than I was supposed to be. <laughs> so I definitely picked up something in that section. I got a re-up on my peach and lily. I'm just gonna spray it right now actually. I instantly feel like a brand new woman. We're ready to pack now. I think I'm gonna bring a check-in bag. No, I am gonna bring a check-in bag because I get one for free anyway. And pro tip, Stick to one airline. Be a loyal client of theirs because I promise you the benefits of sticking to one company totally outweigh the difference that you save from picking the cheapest flights each time you decide to travel. I've gotten like upgrades, free flights, and I always get a free checking bag. I personally chose Delta and then I also have their Amex because it just makes sense to rack up points on like my daily purchases. First things first, I always do the hard thing which is picking out outfits. It's my favorite thing to do but it always takes up the most time. I always check the weekly forecast and kind of go from there the highs are gonna stick around in the high 60s low 70s i feel like a weather forecaster and now on to news with dan i don't know who dan is this is what i've picked out so far perspective shoes one fancy and then one where i can literally do anything in maxi skirt with this cropped adidas track jacket probably gonna layer this underneath with a long sleeve to stay warm i'm gonna style my hair differently and also i don't know if i'm wearing this braid correctly I'm wearing these amazing vintage cargos that I thrifted. I think they're from like the 1970s. And it makes the butt look good. That's important. <laughs> I feel like with an outfit like this, it's loud, but also the colors give you room to be creative, like with other things like your makeup or hair. And it wouldn't take away from the outfit. I know this looks like a nightgown, but it's not. It's actually my piece as a fancy piece. I don't know. I can dress this up or down. Whenever I wear this, I feel like I have to stand like this. It is time to actually start packing now. You guys kind of get the idea where I was thinking of how I plan to use certain tops with different bottoms and mix and match. And what was I going to say? I'm like kind of out of breath because I just fell before this. <laughs> but this is my travel baby. This is a Samsonite and it's lasted me quite some time. Oh, yeah. One of my best travel accessories are these right here. They're cute bags. They stow away all of your clothes so perfectly. I feel like Marie Kondo herself. I know where everything is. And this is a good time to use your dust bags that you get when you purchase shoes. You can use them to store your shoes that you bring so that the dirty soles do not contaminate your luggage. Ooh, a quarter. Just found a quarter in my suitcase. I'm rich. Also, the sun is quickly setting. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that. I guess it's me acknowledging that the day is almost over. I need to get going on this because I have a workout class class in like an hour come with me and you'll see in this world of pure chaos did i hit that note no <laughs> intermission because I'm running late for my cycling class. Of course the zipper doesn't want to work when I'm rushing. Let's go, let's go. There we go. I think I might shower there after class just because it gets so sweaty. I hate being all moist even on the way home. Extra jacket because it's cold now. You get energized for class. Next day, I came home from my workout class last night, had dinner, did some editing, read my book, and knocked the fuck out. So, we're just continuing today, like nothing ever happened, okay? It's time to put everything into the suitcase, 
And what I like to do is put big cubes and stuff on the side that doesn't have the mesh closing so that I can put looser items on this side and they won't shift around too much. It's weird going home to LA more often now because I actually want to. I used to avoid going home so much due to like associating LA with trauma and not good times like carrying the guilt of not living the traditional life that my mom imagined for me but honestly over time I've realized that it has to do with a lot of what's inside me and how I'm portraying everything time away really helped these are the chosen ones that I will be taking on my trip. New Balance 992s, they go with everything. And I needed color, as you can see. We're very all black. I love how comfortable these are. The silhouette is pretty classic. And also we're doing something very fun with New Balance on this trip. I just take a dust bag, slip it in there. Bringing my Salomon XT6. I wear these so much. I'm surprised they haven't given up on me yet. Finally, my fancy shoes. I would wear these on a casual day. Pick and oh, ow. I like how I can like pick and choose. These are Andy Milanista boots. extra fresh pair of socks because they make all the difference on long travel days. I learned this from when I worked with Samsung on experiential marketing. So from time to time, we would have like really long event days where one day would literally feel like two, three days smushed into one. My project manager, he taught me to always carry an extra pair of socks on these days and change into them midday. Also, sometimes I get nauseous on airplanes and this ESA flight therapy has helped me keep it down, if you know what I mean, through a couple flights. You just rub it onto your wrist. Also onto your, fuck, I forgot what this is called. It calms me down, it works for me. And then I also bring natural Dramamine, which is like a shit ton of ginger packed into one pill. One of my Amazon grail finds is this little reading light. Clip it onto your book, swivels. It also has different temperatures, different uh, brightness levels. Just so good and so compact. And I know airplanes have the overhead light, but does anybody else feel like it's way too bright? There were a couple times where the people I was sitting next to were dead asleep but I was wide awake and I wanted to read so I turned on the light and it was blinding and I felt so bad this is good for this trip I'm bringing the Labos and Brett 9 shout out to Emily for sending this I described to her what I was looking for in a new scent I wanted to explore more floral scents this year although I'm really not a floral gal it has to be really subtle and then backed up with musk I really like that heavy masculine smell I guess I shouldn't say masculine but like androgynous it has that grit to it and this little scent right here when I smell this, I think of me sitting in a cafe, maybe somewhere in Paris, and I'm like writing a book and eating a croissant. Okay, I totally butchered that, a croissant. I like a little bit of mystery in all of my scents, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you smell a scent and all of a sudden it's very captivating. One of my clients, she introduced this to me because we were on the same flight one day and she whipped it out and I was like, what is that? You know when you're tired on a flight and you wanna sleep, but the fucking chair doesn't really support you as well as you want to? This right here, is your best friend. It's light as fuck. It's very portable. Stow it away. Wrap this around your neck. Wrap it around like a scarf. And then the Velcro kind of just wraps itself. This little curvature right here supports your head by using your neck and your shoulders. I'm literally just letting my head fall over and it feels so comfortable like I could fall asleep right now. And I know it looks ridiculous, but I don't care. <laughs> it does the job. I'll have it linked down below. And then of course, my Marshall headphones. And I fly with Delta, so they always have headphones for us in case I want to watch a movie. That's pretty much all that's in my carry-on backpack. I do have to leave soon to catch my flight. Let's put on our airport outfit. I always mix looking put together with comfort, especially for the cold weather. My secret is a long jacket because it doubles as a blanket because it gets so cold on the airplanes, at least for me. You don't need to pack it into your bag because long jackets are usually heavier and bulkier. It's such a good piece to travel with during cold weather because you can dress them up and dress them down really easily and you can literally wear sweatpants underneath and no one would ever know <sighs> let's get dressed this is the outfit i layered so that i can remove them if i get hot and use this big ghani jacket as a blanket i think my ride is here hold on okay yeah he's here all right time to go